Welcome to New Gameplay Today. I am Kyle Hilliard, here with Charles Hart. Hello! Charles, we are looking at uh, a new game. A game that kind of, I don't know, I have like a personal interest in. <laughs> it's okay. called Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley. Do you do these characters look familiar to you at all? Do you know anything about any of what you're looking at here? I I think the only familiarity I have is there's a musician named Dodie, and I think she wrote a song for some Moomin thing. But that's okay. all I think. I think it's a cartoon, but that's my guess. I don't actually really know. Okay, so that's good. Uh, that that's that was the sort of uh, background I was looking for. I I've been aware of Moomin for quite some time. Uh, Moomin is, uh, let's see, I I'm reading from Wikipedia a little bit. It's a series of picture books and comic strips by uh, an author, a writer and illustrator from Finland. Uh, their name is Tove Jansen. Gotcha. And, and it has been adapted into multiple animated things. Um, there was actually like a, a genuine anime uh, like animated in ja in Japan okay. was made about the Moomin stories. There's a really strange version of Moomin on like you can find it on Amazon Prime. That's like almost like like early South Park animation. Like it looks like ca mm. like uh, paper cutouts and stuff like that. Like puppeteered. Um, these books started publishing in the 40s. Like Moomin's from Whoa. 1945 is when the when it was first like the comic strip was was first published. And I just, it, it's fascinating to me because I went to Finland to visit Remedy for Quantum Break. Uh, Quantum Break was on Game Informer's cover, uh, just sort of timestamp it. And while I was there, I learned about Moomin, like from the folks at Remedy. Like I was like, what like is they that? Were weird? into Moomin? Or they, yeah. They, okay. It is like a cultural staple. In, in Finland, like they, Moomin is like their like Mickey Mouse, okay, uh, essentially, right? Like he's incredibly popular, and I remember walking around the city and kind of being like, "What is that? What's this like that weird hippo thing I'm seeing everywhere?" <laughs> and the folks at Remedy were like, "You don't know Moomin? Oh man, you gotta learn about Moomin." <laughs> so, uh, so I did. I learned about Moomin and I brought home Moomin stuff for my daughter. Uh, this was years and years ago. This okay. was like, I don't know, like six years ago or something like that, right? And then all of a sudden, one day my daughter came up to me and she was like describing Moomin. And she was like, do you remember that weird white like hippo looking thing? And I was like, are you talking about Moomin? And she was like, yeah, <laughs> Moomin. And this was like like a little less than a year ago. And now she's all in on Moomin, right? Okay. She's like read all, she's like reading the book. She's watching the show. That's cool. That's interesting. I was like, wow, my kid is a hipster. She's into this obscure Finnish cartoon character, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I, then, it, I I was looking it up. It's three years older than Charlie Brown. Right, yes, yeah. So it's yeah. like, it's really a classic. Like, if my, like, grandparents, it's feasible. They, If they were Finnish, they could have, like, grown up with movement. Right, yeah. And, and, like, the thing that I feel like I'm seeing now, and this could just be totally... There's a term for this where just your reality is warped by the things that you're just... The patterns that you're trying to find. It seems to me, it feels like Moomin is, like, on the verge of, like, breaking through in America. Mm. Because I'm seeing, all of a sudden, like, my kid is obsessed with Moomin. I'm seeing all this Moomin stuff. I went on a, a lovely vacation with my wife to Thailand a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. And I was seeing Moomin stuff there. Like I there was like I saw like Moomin stickers on on notebooks and stuff for like the people who worked at the hotel we were staying at, you gotcha. know? And I was so it's like this it's Moomin is like infecting my life in this weird way. <laughs> I, love, and I love the use of I the word a, infecting with this I, lovable <laughs> troll thing. Yeah, 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 it's Moomin Troll is his, is his proper name. And then a couple days ago, I got an email that's like, hey, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're releasing Snufkin, Melody of Moomin Valley. Uh, do you want to check this thing out? And I'm like, yeah, I do. Like, what is going on with the Moomin all of a sudden? <laughs> it's like 40s a cartoon strip character is like just sort of invading, infecting, you know, my life 
in, in a way that I'm kind of fascinated by. And, and to be clear, like, I, I like Moomin. I think it's a really cute uh, little cartoon, you know, comic uh, that I've enjoyed sort of learning about uh, alongside my kiddo. And uh, yeah, so that's so that's my background on Moomin, Charles. I, I'm sorry to dump on you about Moomin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're fine. I was gonna say I looked them up on X, and I was like, okay, I have uh, six people I follow are following the official Moomin account. So it's okay. like it's a it's a round. Like people know what it is. I'm just yeah. not one of them. Yeah, and this is published by Raw Fury, and like I I commend them because I think they're right on top of some kind of weird trend that's about to kick off. I really think, like, in a few months, like, Moomin's gonna be everywhere, you know? <laughs> well, can you explain to me, I guess, this game and also this thing that's following you around? Yeah, yeah, there has been a video game playing in the background. So, uh, Moomin is, this is Moomin Valley's location. Moomin is, like, the main character, of course. There's Moomin Papa and Moomin Mama. Um, but there are secondary characters that Moomin interacts with, and one of them is this guy, Snufkin who okay. is like a humanoid kind of elf person. And the game opens, which we saw with a little bit of like Moomin being like, well, I'm going to hibernate. I'll miss you. And Snufkin's like, yeah, I'll be back. And now, and then the game opens with Snufkin returning and like going to meet his friend Moomin. And that involves sort of exploring Moomin Valley, solving very minor puzzles and this creature appeared who, like, really wants to be social and be friendly and is like, hey, I, I, can I hang out with you? And stuff. And is like, yeah, sure. It's it's all very pleasant, Charles. Mm -hmm. It is, like, the most pleasant-ass game <laughs> <laughs> like I've played in 2024. It's got a really good, uh, like, I, I in my head I thought of it as a cartoon because I guess that's the context I had seen it in. But knowing yeah. it's a picture book... And it has book, been animated, so that yes. is totally... That is the context for many people, yeah. But knowing it's got, like, picture book roots and then seeing this game, I'm like, oh, absolutely. This looks just like a thing that someone would have drawn any time in the last, I don't know, 80 years? Yeah. Turns yeah. turns 80 next year, I guess? That's wild. So, yeah, it's it's... It's, it's a storied franchise, right? Like, it has this weird history that hasn't as far as I can tell, hasn't ever really found root in America. Mm -hmm. Un unless I'm unless I'm mistaken, right? This has been around for a while. Maybe there was a period of time where it was quite popular. But to me, I feel like it's just sort of all of a sudden popping up. And this and this game is like it's like, you know, geared towards younger players. It's not a complicated game. You're solving little puzzles. I like the look of it. I like the art style. Mm -hmm. Um it's just pleasant. It's just pleasant <laughs> as hell. <laughs> <laughs> um, how how much game is this? I guess you. I don't know how much of it you you actually played. Um, I guess I'm w wondering about the scope of it. Is it just like a quick little linear like puzzle game, or that's like what it seems like it is, like a linear okay. little puzzle game with some story, like a little bit of story. Because like this, the show, the comic is all about. There are plots, right? There are books that have beginning, middle, and ends. It's not quite just. Because sometimes comic strips are just snapshots of characters, like, just, mm -hmm. like, you know, maybe there'll be, like, there'll be a punchline at the end of a joke, right? And that's your interaction, right? Moomin does have, like, full books about the, the characters, and, and there's, like, recurring stories that they always do. It's kind of, like, closer to maybe, like, Paddington might be the mm -hmm. more direct line mm -hmm. to draw. Um, where he is also kind of a comic strippy kind of character who has a series of books with beginning, middles, and ends. Mm hmm and it seems like this uh, game is just this uh, very mild and pleasant journey uh, through Moomin Valley, and you just encounter things. Like, later in the game, I ran into this character who was, like, putting up signs in the woods, and Snufkin is like, nah, we can't have any of that. The woods are supposed to be a, a place of freedom. You know, we can't establish <laughs> rules here. And so I just went around, like, pulling up all the signs and stuff like that, and it's, it's just a weird sort of tone like I, I just like it because it feels different it's 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 not American storytelling right it's uh -huh. like it's from a different country um, and I'm just really charmed by it and um, even though the game is is very simple and I, I mean admittedly I don't think I'm gonna you know go and beat um, the melody of Moobin Valley I I was I was very charmed by it and I wanted to short off and just like kind of 
sort of, you know, maybe look to the comments section and ask everybody, like, am I going crazy or is, like, Moomin just so hot right now? Are we about to, like, <laughs> enter the Moomin renaissance? For so, I feel like the, the internet slash world is such a big place that even if you're correct about saying that, we're gonna have people in the comments that are like, "Oh, I've been Moomin for years now. Like, we're <laughs> you're you're just hearing about the Moomin train. Like, it's only just now gotten Kyle big, but it's been right. Uh, exactly. Yeah, US I'm open to that. Years. You know, I don't I don't know these things. You know, um, what but, is um, what is Snufkin's vibe specifically? <sighs> Good question, Charles. He just seems like a uh, uh, a nature obsessed human. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> in this in this world of sort of bizarre fairy tale creatures, he he seems like a human being who really likes exploring nature and uh, like learning about nature and and making sure nature maintains. Mm -hmm. um, like, and he's very friendly to all the little creatures he meets and plays harmonica for them. Obviously, obviously, I did. I was wondering what this guy following you around was called, and then just saw that its name was Small Creatures. So all right, right. Well, that's the, his plot is that he's trying to come up with a name for himself. Ah. And Snufkin is like, yeah, we'll come up with something. Everything deserves to be named. Mm -hmm. So he's just kind of following you around, you know, coming up with name ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just all it's just all very soft and just like mm. quiet. And like the music is just like pleasant background. I've used the word pleasant a lot. I apologize. <laughs> but it, I mean, that's just like the best word I can come up with to describe this thing. It's just pleasant. I think uh, uh, cozy. Cozy's the yeah. popular term. Yeah, cozy is the popular video game term. I guess I was hesitant to call it a cozy game because you are sort of on a linear path solving puzzles and mm -hmm. going along a story where, I, I don't know, I personally relate cozy games to closer to like Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley or like where you're in one area sort of maintaining and meeting people within that location. But, you know, it's a broad term that mm -hmm. can apply to anything, so... There's a yeah. There's a school of thought that really broadens up cozy games. I've heard I've heard people say Breath of the Wild is a cozy game. And I don't I don't I don't think I would put it in that category. But yeah. I like that. I I don't disagree. I find that game cozy. But definitely putting that and this in the same category feels odd. I mean, I see where they're coming from because it's like it's just a game that you can sort of chill in yeah. within, right? And Breath of the Wild can certainly be that if you want it to be. Um, so I, I, I get that. Um, so yeah, I guess I guess I would put this in the, the cozy game sort of canon for that reason. Because I don't, I mean, I haven't encountered any combat. I haven't really hit any puzzles that are, I can't figure out. Um, it's just, it's just about this, like the cool art style and the nice music. And you're just sort of exploring and trying to meet your friend Moomin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, who's, who's cool. I mean, who, Moomin's the best. I'm, we I all, love Moomin. We've loved him for 80 years. <laughs> we've all known about Moomin forever, and yeah. we love him dearly. But, yeah, so that's that's Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley. Uh, I, I actually don't have the release date right in front of me, but it is early March is when it's coming out. Um, and if you, you know, maybe you know Moomin, and, you, and you've and you been wanting a Moomin video game for some time. Maybe you're not aware of Moomin, and you're just looking for a very pleasant, cozy game. There you go. I mean, it's right there you here. Go. Yeah. Uh, I've almost got the release date pulled up, Charles. I'm so close. Uh, March 7th is when Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley comes that's, out. That's my friend Taylor's birthday. So. There you go. Happy birthday, Taylor. Yeah, Switch and PC. This is the Switch version, by the way. But, uh, yeah, Charles, I appreciate you uh, taking a look at the game with me and just listening to me go off on a. <laughs> a tangent about Moomin for a really long time, and of know. course, thank you for the zoom in on the Moomin. Yeah, <laughs> this, this I, I want why, you to know I've been sitting here. I've been sitting on that rhyme this whole time. Uh, <laughs> just been waiting for a time slot in. I was like, that'll be a great outro. It was. It was perfect. We can't. We can't improve on that. So thank you so much, Charles.